Welcome to Time Travel Network. Today we are going back to 220 BC, the time of Archimedes. We will learn about his problem of the king's crown. This involves King Hiram and Archimedes. Ready to journey into the past? Let's go! Good evening. Good evening. Well, Archimedes, I have another problem for you. What is it, Your Majesty? Well, you see... Yes, Your Majesty. Spoons and crown. Oh, sorry. Well, I just had this new crown made for me. I like it, but... See, this is as it looks. I like it, but... Hmm. But I'm not sure about its quality. You see, I took the, a reasonable amount of gold to the goldsmith for the making of the crown. When I got it back, I was a bit suspicious. I was thinking that he put some silver in it and kept the gold for himself. Oh, that's an awful thing to do. Yes, it is. I'm hoping you can solve this problem for me, Archimedes. I will do my best, sir. Thank you. Oh, yes, one more thing. If you do, I will give you many gold coins, many silver, and many gold pieces, and crystals. I hope that's enough for your well-being. Thank you. Hello, sir. Hello. Can I help you with anything? Mm, yes, I think I'd like some wine. What kind of wine would you like? Surprise me. All right. I'll give you a most popular. I had some. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Troubling you? Well, you see, the king has asked me to find out if there's silver in his crown. You see, I know the weight of gold per unit of volume, and I know the weight of the crown, but I don't quite know how to find the volume of the crown. Well, I'm sorry, there's not much I can help you with that. Oh, it's all right. Well, you can I. Anything else I can help you with? No. I'll go take a bath. It's so cold today. I know. Well, you want to be on some French? Oh, it's so expensive, isn't it? It's okay. We're rich. Oh, excuse oh, me, sir. Excuse me. Gosh. And you can you believe the prices of those slaves? I mean. They're like two dollars. I know, they should be only one dollar and seventy-five cents. I know, that's a dog's life. Don't just 
down there and give it to him. <laughs> okay, what were you saying? I know how to find the volume of your crown. Tell me. Well, I knew the volume of the gold. But how was I supposed to find the volume of your crown? Well, this morning I took a bath and I noticed that the water level rose high. That gave me the idea that all I had to do was put your crown in a bowl of water and the amount of water it would displace is the amount, is its volume. Can you please fetch me a bowl of water and that cube of gold? Yes, your majesty. There's your cube of gold. May I hold your crown? And here is the bowl filled with water. Well, look. This hardly, hardly displaces any water at all. And this displaces a lot of water. So that means that they filled my crown with silver. Yes. That scoundrel. He cheated me. Let's go get my gold back. Good idea. Thank you for watching Time Travel Network. Tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, we will be learning about the story behind the Odyssey. Thank you again and good night. Get me a bowl filled with water. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> you need a bigger bowl, right? <laughs> no, I need a bigger bowl. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's do it again. I'm just going to keep rolling. Let's do it again. You're a genius. Ready to journey into the past? Let's go. And it... A smaller amount of water will rise. I can't wait to tell the king my discovery. And so I think I must Oh, no, I, I want to tell you more. I, I, want to, I, I would like to tell you more. But it's late. It's late. Thank you again and good night.